Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your N8 and MCP server to a retail AI voice agent in order to supercharge your agent capabilities. So I am right here inside retail and I'm just going to go ahead and create a new agent from scratch. So let's create a single prompt agent, start from blank and go ahead and connect our MCP server. So first I'm just going to give a very basic prompt to my agent. And the purpose of this agent is going to be two things. First, search for patient records and return their info and also send emails. So the way this is going to go here inside NRN is we're going to have two different flows for two different reasons. The first flow is going to be the MCP server. So NRN now has a native node that allows us to basically just host our MCP server inside the platform. And to this server, we just can connect the different tools that we need our agent to perform. So in this case, as I told you, I just connected basically the Gmail send a message tool. And also I have some records that the agent should be able to fetch inside Airtable. And I'm to also connecting that tool to the MCP server. But this is not the only flow that we have to build. We also have to build an MCP client. So inside retail, we're going to basically connect a custom function that sends a payload to this webhook right here, then that payload goes through an AA agent inside NRN, which has a tool, which is the MCP client. This MCP client is connected to the MCP server. It does the things that it has to do on the background using the tools connected to the server and then sends the response back to the agent, which sends then the response back to retail. So yes, basically first retail is going to send a webhook to the AA agent in NRN with uh, the request of the user then the agent has access to the MCP server via the MCP client here as a tool. And then the MCP server has access to the tools needed to perform the action requested by the user. And it's going to perform the actions, send the response back to the agent. And then the agent is going to send back the response back to retail, which has our AI voice agent. Now in our table, I have some patient records. This is just all made up information. Um, so I have my database inside Airtable, which is called RX Software Solutions DB. And I have a list of patients that then I want to I wanna ask about during the conversation with my AI voice agent. So the AI voice agent should be able to fetch this data and answer back with any piece of information that I want to I wanna get from this, this table. So now let's start building. The first thing, it's going to be build our MCP server. And for that, I'm just going to go ahead and add uh, the MCP server trigger node. This is just <laughs> good by default. And now I'm just going to start adding the tools. So first is going to be the Airtable tool that is going to allow my agent to basically yeah, just search for a specific record. So the way to configure this is basically first you need to configure your credentials inside NNN. It is a very straightforward process. Then uh, yeah, this is just set up correctly. I want to search for records and now I need to pick here specifically the database I want to look in. So the database is going to be RX Software Solutions DB and the table is going to be the patients table that I just showed you. I'm going to leave this blank because I want to retrieve all the records from the table and then let the AI decide which records are useful for the request I give it. This is the Airtable tool and now we need to add a new tool which is the Gmail tool to send an email. So yeah, I have already connected my Gmail account. I want to send the message to uh, myself for this demo. Uh, actually, this is, well, actually, I'm just going to just change this to uh, let the AI define which value is going to be inputted here. So this is a good thing about using MCPs in particular or tools inside MCPs is that we can let the model decide which information to put in each field required to call the tool. So in this case, I'm just going to tell the AI voice agent that I want to send uh, a message or an email to a specific address and it should be able to think and just um, call this tool with the right information. The to address is going to be defined by the model. The subject is also going to be de defined by the model and also the message within the email is going to be defined by the model. I can also add some extra options here, but uh, I'm not going to do that because it's not required right now. So yes, this is already, um, oh, so yes, this is configured already. It is a very straightforward process and very easy. You should also, uh, be sure that this is active in order for it to 
be able to receive requests every time you call it. Uh, so yeah, this is good right now. I'm just going to save it. And now I'm going to move on to the MCP client. So here in the MCP client flow, uh, we need to build the AI agent that is going to receive the requests from retail. So this is going to start from a webhook right here. Uh, this should be a post method. Um, also, it has to be the respond type is going to be using respond to webhook nodes. Uh, you can also modify the path, etc. but this is good for me. Now let's move to the AI agent. Oh. Let's move to the AI agents, um, and I should just give it a very basic, basic prompt here. So, I yeah, just give this basic prompt to the agent, but I'm just gonna have to change this in a second. Now, let's give the AI an LLM. I'm just gonna use OpenAI 40 Mini. I don't need a memory in this case because this just acts as a middleman between the retail voice agent and the MCP server. But I do need to then add the MCP client tool and fit in here the MCP server endpoint, SEC endpoint. So to do that, you just go to your MCP server trigger and copy the production URL. This goes here. And it's, as it doesn't have any authentication needed, you don't have to modify any of this. So this should be good to go. Now we only have to add a response to webhook nodes and that's it. Now let's save this and um, we should be good. So there is actually something else missing and it is a very important step, actually the most important step here and it is connecting the AI voice agent with retail. So to do that, we are actually not going to use the MCP function or feature right here but we're going to do it using a custom function. Why? Because this MCP feature uh, receives a URL and this URL is not the MCP server URL, but the MCP client URL. And we're not allowed to fetch that data inside, uh, well, NNN. You can do that in Sapier. Sapier is going to give you the MCP client URL. Uh, but in this case, we're going to have to use this setup right here for NNN. So this webhook URL is going to go into this one, the production one. It's going to go into a custom function. So we go to custom function. We just set this webhook here, then just name the function. This is going to be named as MCP. And the description is going to be um, use this function. Whenever the user makes a request. So I'm going to instruct the AI to use this function whenever the user uh, makes a request. So it feeds the request to the webhook and then we go through all the process in NNN. Now this also should be enabled, the payload only. I only want to receive the request, not the other information from the object. And I also need to add new the request as a parameter here. So request, the request of the user. And this should be required always for our MCP to work. Now let's save it. Uh, and this should work now. Well, actually, it is going to output an error, and you're going to see why. So uh, I want to know the info of a patient named Johnson. This is one of the patients here. I think, yes, Lee Johnson. Uh, now it is going to try and run the MCP, uh, well, the tool, and it's going to actually output an error. Or, well, not the information that we expect because uh, it is not yet well mapped. So you see that it sent the request as get the information of the patient named Johnson. Now the AI agent here in retail should receive that request and do uh, and run the MCP tool. But right now we are just receiving a very basic response as if this request wasn't passed through the AI agent. Now, if we go to the executions, this last execution, well, this past execution were just failed executions, but this past one is just the one that we received. So if we go specifically to what happened, you can see it here that from the webhook, we received a lot of information, including the request. 
but we're not using that information inside the agent. So the agent has no context on what the webhook, on what we're receiving from the webhook. So we have to change that and actually pass that information through the AI agent. So it actually goes to the MCP client, performs the actions, and then sends the, rep the response back to, to retail. So let's just copy this to the editor and uh, change the prompt. So uh, the prompt, the initial prompt was, you are a helpful assistant. You have access to an MCP server to solve user requests. And now I'm going to add uh, the request. The user is this one. And just map the request that we received from retail here. Now this should be good. Now I'm going to go back, save, and tell this agent to try again. I am chatting with the agent because it is easier to debug what's happening. Uh, so yeah, it is trying again, supposedly. It, it should be going through the automation, trying to access the tools. And now you can see here that it gave me the information from Emily Johnson, which is the request that I gave it. So I wanted the information from a patient named Johnson, and it is giving me the information. Uh, you can see here the tool result. So the tool result, actually, it is the full entire list of all the records of the database because we didn't in include a filter. But now the AI inside retail is picking the right record. So the patient named Johnson. Now let's tell it to maybe just send an email with this info to myself. So uh, and I want to send it to myself. Now it should be going through the, oh well, it, it asked something back. I can help you send an email with the intelligence information. Could you please confirm if you would like to include all the details listed or is there not all the details? Please. Now let's see what happens. It should be going through the tool of sending an email and yeah, it was a success. So if we go to my inbox, this is a previous run that I did, but if I just refresh this, I received a new one, right? So this is the whole information or the whole request that I gave the AI. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's how you can use MCPs to give your agent more capabilities or more actions to do. And the good thing about this is that you can basically, if you want to add a new tool or a new function to the agent, you just need to add a new tool to your MCP server. So this could be as big as you want it. We can, uh, well, maybe you can, you want to add some records to a Google Sheets. So you go to Google Sheets tool and just add the function or the tool, the specific tool that you want to use. And there are multiple um, things that you can do here. So this is basically just a way to supercharge your voice agent to do basically whatever you want. Now, if you want something like this implemented for your business or you want to explore just a, a very specific use case, you can just pick the link, the first link in the description below and just book a call with me. It is free, so I'll be happy to help you if you actually book a call. It was a pleasure as always and see you in the next video.